Hey everybody and welcome to The Plug. Today we are really excited to have Katie Morris on who just announced an amazing new deck. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. <laughs> Definitely don't forget that bell. So Katie, why don't you tell us when we're going to be able to cop a brick of these amazing decks? So you'll be able to cop satellite playing cards on the 1st of September on Kickstarter. And that's when they're releasing. That's like the project date set in stone. It'll be the 1st of September for sure. So yeah, you can hop on there. Um, not sure the exact time yet. That isn't set in stone, but that'll be released at a later date. So you can keep up to date on my Instagram and you'll find out the exact date they'll be releasing on um, the exact time. Sorry, they'll be releasing on September 1st. Awesome. awesome. Now, where, where, I mean, Satellite is such a cool name. Yeah. What, like, where did the inspiration come behind the name and the deck itself? So the kind of inspiration behind the deck um, and the name is, um, so satellite, obviously satellite images is basically the, the overall inspiration. And that came from when I was making a, an art collage. So I was using like a book called The World From Above or something like that. And I was cutting out these satellite images. Um, and I realized that little areas of them looked really intriguing. And um, so I made a handmade prototype. I basically cut out um, different areas from those images, stuck them onto a deck of aviators, and I had the deck of 52 cards, and they looked amazing. And I was like, That's I've awesome. got to make this an actual, actual thing. So I did. I um, ended up getting help from NASA, and I've been using their library to pretty much warp their satellite images, take really intricate details from it to find what looks best on a card back. Um, and yet, every single bat design is completely different. So, That's yes. amazing. Oh, how, now how long did it take you to like from when you first started to cutting your first design up to the finish of it? So the like handmade prototype that I first made, I had that finished in a few hours because it's something that I really engrossed myself in. I was like, I want to get this done because I saw the first card and I was like, this looks really good. I want to get this finished. After the handmade prototype was finished, I was working on uh, designing it on the computer for maybe another month. Um, and then I got the prototype ordered like a month later, and now here yeah, I am ready to release it. So, That's yeah. awesome. That's so cool. Just so, we... go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say so. You know, we've talked so much about this design here. It sounds phenomenal. Let's let's take a look at this here. So I'll start with the box. Um, so first of all, the box is. Oh, cool! That, that is so cool. Dark, but it's got this touch of color, and you'll see why in a second when I get into the actual cards. Hopefully yeah. you can see that the lighting isn't great, but it's um, yeah, that little satellite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. so cool, and I like the little earth on the on the bottom corner there as well. I just wanted yeah. to kind of reinforce the theme of the deck without giving too much. I wanted the box to have an element of mystery, so then when you open the cards up, what you get is a pot of color, and you'll see oh, what I mean in a minute. Every card oh, wow. is completely different so from cool. the next. That is amazing. Oh man. Hopefully you can so see that. Cool. Yeah, I mean for for the people that are looking here, obviously if you go over to Katie's uh, Instagram, which will be down below, you'll see actual better quality. Um, yeah, the you know, colors images. are a lot more saturated in person and on the photos on my Instagram. So this card you probably can't see the colors very well, but they're it's yeah, yellow and browns and oranges. Yeah, that looks amazing. Orange, there's a wide variety so cool. of colors. Um, every single card, all 56, have a different back design with the satellite theme. So the whole deck retains the same theme, but each image is completely different. Um, so it's not like random images. Um, the deck yeah. uh, relates and goes together, and it works really well. Um, and I think it's it's definitely a deck that's one of a kind, and it's unique. Um, there's nothing else quite like it in the sense that every card is completely different. Um, mm. And it's the same with the faces. So on the each face basically i've got one pip that has the oh, same cool. on it that's cool each, that is cool each card has a different design yeah yeah so that's again cool. like a quality image just go into instagram they're and they're all, all random colors on the pips as well yep all random colors that's Every single cool and um, the court cards i wanted to make uh, the change a tiny tiny bit more drastic and um, so both pips are nice. oh, sweet. yeah 
Again, these look they look absolutely amazing in person. The deck pops as soon as you take it out of the box. The the vibrant colours, it just looks so amazing. Um, and you know, I might be biased, but it's it just it's <laughs> no, it, it looks <laughs> so beautiful. Who, who's printing? Yeah. Who's going to be the printer? Um, USPCC. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, it's it's so cool. It, uh, you know, Cardis are going to flip for it. Yeah. So you kind of mentioned too the uh, the design aspects through it, working with NASA to get you know these images and everything. And and even the, like the uh, the individual ideas of each pip, can you go a little bit more detail into you know what that design process was like for you? Like, how did you decide which image would look best and cropping it and things like that? Yeah, because that's um, I mean, that was, yeah. Tyler literally that question was like literally the best question because it's like there's so much involved in an image, and mm -hmm. to be able to crop it in a certain spot that actually works perfectly. It's mm -hmm. not easy. I know a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, it's simple. You just cut it here and here. But it goes way beyond that, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, as you know, I kinda, I'm into art myself. So I think because of that, I have quite a good eye when it comes to composition and looking at little details and textures and shapes, colors, and just deciding what looks good. Um, you know, I'm quite used to doing that with my own artwork. So when it came to designing a deck of cards, I, I kind of, just I knew where to place different uh, details and don't get me wrong it wasn't just like a first try thing I did experiment right. and try different compositions it took quite a while to find the right colors and um, but after a while of experimentation I was able to find a composition that worked and looked great and um, and yeah every single card it's beautiful is the best word to describe it like every card is beautiful with all the colors and uh, the the colors kind of merge together in a way because obviously when you're looking at the earth from above you've got all like these oceans and forests and the colors from above they just merge into each other it doesn't even look like planet earth and um, mm. one of my favorite cards for example you wouldn't that's look at that so cool. that's, that's earth you wouldn't think that no you it looks like some sort of like yeah like a nebula something. yeah, yeah. It, you, know what it looks, you know what it looks like to me so here's the other cool thing about it it's gonna look so, it's gonna look like something different to everybody that yeah. looks like literally like like a wave of water with like fire underneath it or something. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. Interpret the deck completely differently, um, and that's another thing I really love about it. Um, it is one way, but um, the good thing is that the there's no exact top or bottom to any of the cards, so when you turn it around, it has a completely different look. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's that's, that's a really good kind of addition to it, the fact that you can turn it around any way you want. I have two questions based on that. Two things. First thing is, is uh, are we going to be able to get uncut sheets of it? That would yes. be sick. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, like, I, I, I just had to ask that question because obviously um, I'm not a huge fan of uncut sheets. But mm -hmm. when a deck is literally different on the mm -hmm. back with every card, it's not just the same over and over and over. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of – I can't even imagine what that – is going to look yeah. like it is a I very mean, artsy deck so i can imagine as an uncut sheet it would look like a massive kind of piece of artwork of its own yeah, and yeah and um, i only own one un uncut sheet myself so you know i'm not like a massive fan of them but i think for this deck it will look very different than any other uncut sheet out there it's yeah awesome. I, I totally agree and the other question is which you kind of just kind of said but what are your three favorite cards in the deck Ooh, I need to look through to see that. There's a particular one that I'm thinking of that is my favourite for sure. Um, just give me a second and I can flip through and get it. It's got to be tough too because I know, so, right? I mean, to, to, with the amount of time you spent on all the images too, you really, you obviously like all of them. Too, so to pick the three, that's got to be a tough one, but that's something yeah. cool. <laughs> I've got four down already. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to narrow it. Well, you can only pick three, so you're gonna have to narrow it down. <laughs> okay, right. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my like number one favorite. Um, so this has definitely got to be my absolute favorite in the deck. Oh, that is cool. an awesome one. I saw mm -hmm. that one earlier when you had it out, and it just looks amazing. Yeah. It yeah. looks like blood drop. It looks like blood droplets on like something. Yeah. See, everyone sees something different in it, and yeah, uh, so cool. you wouldn't you wouldn't think that's a satellite image unless I've told you, which I have. Yeah, so that's so true. Yeah. I feel like if I just I had think it's just abstract art. That's all I would think. Yeah. 
especially like this one as well. This one I warped, so it's um. It looks like cheese pizza with pepperoni. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. That might that might be because uh, I've been thinking about pizza recently, but. Um. Okay, I need one more. Right, I'm gonna go with this one because I think it's really cool. Oh, nice. oh that is really cool. Yep. Looks like a volcano or something. And I like. It was a volcano. Uh, yeah. Or it was gonna be that thin too. Um, I'm not too sure yet actually because um, you know, this is just like the prototype, so yeah. I'm, I'm really worked out whether you know thin borders or thicker borders would be better. But I usually prefer thin borders. Yeah, um, that, that fan so, for tile with thin borders. Yeah, thin borders. And I was thinking about when you fan it, it's just this rainbow of colors, and I think that yeah. would be prominent um if it's got you know thin borders so I, I would like to probably stick with thin borders yeah that'd be I, dope. Love I, the, I, I love thin borders and i yeah. love the idea that every time you fan this there's a potential for it to be a new fan like that's so amazing there's so yeah, many I mean, the, the, yeah the, the odds of a car like every card being in the same exact spot is yeah. like probably impossible unless yeah, you no, it's, like, it's literally don't take it out of order yeah, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, that's something I, when I started, first of all, kind of creating the Kickstarter projects and just putting bits together, and that's something I, first of all, wanted to mention, is that every time you shuffle these cards, a different combination is going to manifest. So you could do the same flourish or cut three times in a row, and each time it's going to look different. That's it will look the same physically, but the actual details on the cards are going to change each time. So I think it really adds a new flavor to your cardistry in a way that no other deck does. Um, yeah. I know you know there's decks out there that have all different backs, but it retains the same color throughout to kind of match yeah. the card together. But this isn't like that. I've, like it's completely crazy the different colors. Um, I mean, you can find kind of hints of matching colors between cards, which I think helps to bring the deck together, and it just looks really good when you fan it. Hopefully, you can see that. Oh no! Nice. Oh, so cool. I love Kyle's it. Kyle's gonna have a field day with that thing. I am gonna. I'm gonna. I'm so excited about this. So was, cool. I wish you could see it like in person because it's just the the yeah. vibrant colors just really makes the deck for sure. You'll have to. You'll have to send us an image of it that you have. Uh, oh so yeah. Can check it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We do some, some images over for sure. And so I think one of the cool things about this too is you know this is obviously your first deck coming to it, but knowing that you're so involved in art and when you were on our show previously, you had kind of mentioned that you had a lot of ideas kicking around. So is this the start for something bigger for you? Yeah, definitely. So I'm actually releasing this deck alongside my brand. And um, the brand is called Canvas Cards. So oh, it's, nice. uh, it's called Canvas Cards because it's a fine art inspired cardistry brand. So mm. all the designs will be originally inspired by art of some sort. Um, so I actually have two decks i've got this one and then i've got another one that was designed first funnily enough but when i came up with this one i realized i just thought it was such a strong idea and i wanted to get it out there i couldn't yeah. hesitate and wait any longer so i switched my plan and i was like i'm going to release the satellite playing cards first nice um, so that's what I'm doing. that's so you know that is so cool because i've talked to many designers that have done the same thing as you but mm -hmm in their mind they're like no i have to put this one out because it was the first yeah. one even though the second one is more powerful or more mm -hmm. meaningful or whatever it may be they just feel like they have to do it in this progression you know but yeah. um I, I think you are definitely one of the rare ones in the community where you go with what you think is right and what feels mm -hmm. good and more more about creativity whether it's the deck that you're using that most people don't use or uh you know exactly. along those lines yeah yeah so I knew that this deck would be a great way to kind of kickstart the brand and get it out there. And I think I think everyone's going to really, really love it and really love the, the Kickstarter project and the the trailer for the cards. So yeah, the deck is so dope, um, and and you are loved in the community. You're super talented, and I know people have been waiting uh, to see a deck from you because you've been saying that you kind of had one and I, I think yeah. a lot of people are going to be excited about it. Um, yeah. you know, especially the fact that it's going to be on Kickstarter and, uh, you know, it gives everybody the opportunity to get one. Uh, you yeah. know, a lot of, a lot of cottage decks nowadays, they're either printing 17 of them or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, putting up, put them up for sale for five minutes so nobody can get them. So yeah. I think, uh, it's going to be a change 
uh, you know, in the cottage community with this deck coming out. So and I'm more, about more accessibility is good. So especially yeah. with something this this amazing and this vibrant and so different. So, yeah, um, and we we support you, Katie, because you're rad. Yeah. Thank you. Hope you guys will be in the deck as well. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I'm excited for this thing. I can only imagine the fan variations. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really excited. So, so again, before we, uh, before we sign off here, guys, make sure to check out this deck on Kickstarter, dropping September first. Yeah. While you're at it, if you like the video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Katie, thank you so much for coming on and sharing a little bit of insight into your new satellite playing cards. Yeah, we're okay. excited. We look forward to it, and uh, we will be there September 1st. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. Peace. Peace.